Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John Susmini, a true dad, and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas Dust, where you join Doc Mitchell looking, well, a little bit weighed down, to be honest, but actually, things are going pretty darn nicely right now. I am pretty happy with how things are getting on, because we have found ourselves a base, a great big dinosaur base, in fact. Oh, yes. We have cleared out the cannibals from Novak, or rather, Motel, as it is apparently now called, and that means it's time for us to move in, because they have got water in their toilets, clean beds inside the motel itself, and not really a good supply of food, but food is okay for the time being. However, I do have a problem. Ammo. I'm desperately short on ammo right now, or at least I'm short on ammo for my guns. Okay, I've actually got a fair amount of 9mm and 5.56, so... If I could find a good quality 9mm pistol and say, ooh, I don't know, that gun, that would be marvellous. Now, that gun was unfortunately not in its usual spot. So, I'm going to start off today by just basically ransacking the town. Because, well, one, there might be that gun. Two, there might be a bit of food. And three, there might be some more cannibals floating around. And uh, I'd rather just make sure every single cannibal's dead, you know, just so I don't run into one later when I assume I'm safe. So, let's have a little look, see what we got around here. And hello, we got something straight away. The Tomb of Avernus. Who is Avernus? And I think I just, did I just walk straight into a trap? Because I swear I, I just heard the noise of a trap going off. Okay, interesting. It must have been that trap, but... Ah, must have just been a bottle that triggered it. Okay. Who exactly is... Okay. That, that spooked me. I'll admit. Who exactly was Avernus? Well, presumably, that guy. And How did you just walk into... Right, I just didn't see that there. That's fine. Everything's under control. Turn off the radio. Now, who exactly are you? And why is there a... Yeah, a typewriter and a coffee machine above you. It looks vaguely... Ooh. Strange meat. Brock flowers. Revered skeleton. Okay. Quintus Avernus's journal, part one and part two. Yeah, that's the other good thing about this town. This town is just flipping law central. So we're learning a lot about the world right now, including... Yeah. Did somebody try and recreate the Legion after they lost the second battle of Hoover Dam? I'm Quintus of Vernus, Centurion of Caesar's Legion. This is my journal. I've arrived with what remains of my forces in the town of Novag without any standing force and with the ranger station evacuated, easy enough to take. I've ordered the crucifixion of all those who resisted to make an example to the rest of the town. They were much more docile after. For now, the previous citizens of this town are being kept prisoner, and so I decide what to do with them. Ooh. Where? I didn't see any sign of anything that looked like a jail, but all right. My force stood behind as contingent when the Legion was expelled off Hoover Dam. Seems it ended up as a blessing in disguise. A few years after, the entire Mojave is at the brink of extinction. NCR forces have abandoned most of their posts. Bases are either evacuated or concentrated elsewhere. There are strange creatures roaming the land or under it. That's one unfortunate incarnate of mine found out during our encounter with them. Humanoid green, skin is reptilian, their eyes are glowing. They travel in packs and are primal and savage. They focus on one singular prey in a group and rip their victim to shreds, then move on to the next one. Fine. So he knew about the tunnelers and, well, seems to at least have dealt with them around here because we haven't run into any locally. Our only problem is food. We simply don't have enough supplies to last for more than a few days. Perhaps the past was the solution. My old tribe, the Sun Dogs, had a tradition before being assimilated in which the weaker warrior, after being defeated, was... Ah! Okay. So that's why this is Cannibal Town. Or maybe this was the first act of actual, you know, major cannibalism and it spread. It was like, you know, it actually worked. It was kind of, you know, terrible and horrifying and whatever, but... The societies that did it actually survived. Okay, makes sense. On to part two. The old forgotten tradition was the answer I sought after all. 
The first to experience it were citizens we captured. They'd already fallen before us. As such, there was no need to assess strength. It had been assessed already. They strengthened my men, some of whom showed reluctance at first, but were soon participating in the Feast of the Warrior. I heard the stories that some of the centurions exercised similar behaviour with slaves. Dishonourable slaves of broken tools. They have no strength to be consumed. Ah! So this wasn't just a purely pragmatic thing. It was a religious idea that if you ate someone you could absorb their strength. Got it. I already ordered for a makeshift ring to be built where the houses used to be. Any legionary who desires to test his strength against his brothers is welcome to try. We will emerge from this forsaken wasteland stronger than all. Maybe when we're strong enough we can find our way to the Colorado and show the broken remains of the legion our way. Okay. Is that maybe hinting that actually Caesar's camp and a boat there from Cottonwood might actually still be around? Intriguing. Nothing else here though. Yeah, strange meat and whatever, but food is not a problem for the time being. So leave the food. Watch the other trap, by the way. And okay, maybe just... Wait, what even... I don't even know what triggers that. So probably we just kind of, you know, stay out of its way. Okay, let's just be off. Yeah, this place is just law central, which is absolutely flipping beautiful. Now, I'm starting to get a little bit on the hungry side, but yeah, in the houses, there's bound to be some stuff I can just nibble on, so that's fine. Now, this tower is almost certainly going to be... Right. Somebody's still got a gun. And they're not aiming it at me just yet. Question is, ah, that might be the guys who are down by the, uh, yeah, the house. The house where Veronica takes you. Just double check this isn't producing any water. And the answer is, no, of course not. Just a little trickly noise, nothing at all. Okay, back into town. Let's see what we got in town. I think, yeah, the gunfire was from the little shack over there, not from over here. And don't forget, if I need a bit more scrap metal to make a few more weapon repair kits... Yeah, this is most of what I need right here already, in fact. Ah, tragically. All the time I carried around a shovel, but I finally had to get rid of it due to uh, weight constraints, and now there's actually two bloody graves to dig up. Oh well, no flipping matter. Check for any sign of trouble. And, oh, whiskey's wearing off. Yeah, I do have the slight problem. I'm entirely dependent on booze still, at least for the moment. Bear in mind as well that, yeah, 130 is pretty much as high as the games are ever going to let you go. Because that is strength capped out at 10, and I've taken burden to bear, and I've actually taken strong back. So, I'm not sure if there's any more perks to increase my carry capacity. So, 130 is pretty much as high as it gets, and that's with a large backpack, of course. Don't forget, I've actually got a large backpack on too. Just check around here. Sadly, nothing. Ooh. Hello! Sorry, I didn't realise you were still here, but that's fine, because you're food. Wait, did he just... He just had Brahmin meat on him, not dog meat. So that's... That's of interest, but whatever. Right, time to check the houses one by one. There's a very real possibility there might be, yeah, people inside them. Though actually, I think I remember I left a hammer over here. I can make myself one more weapon repair kit right now. Yep, there we go. Weapon repair kit, lovely. In fact, I think there might just be enough in this garage for one more as well. Yes, there is. Spot on. Now this is good stuff. Because I do need some slight improvements to my weapons, really. Weapon repair kit for you. And weapon repair kit for you. Good. Alright, into the houses. And no one should be asleep because it's daytime. If I recall correctly, there's only three houses you can go inside around this town. A bit of dirty water, may as well. That's going to be strange meat pies. Any chance anything other than human meat? No. Obviously not. Might have a... No. Can't get in there, tragically. That's 50. Might need to go up towards 50 lockpick at some point. That's probably getting towards being a priority. Right, house number two at the bottom down here. And... Ooh. Okay. Um, cow. Well, uh, I guess we just, like, get out a big hammer. And hit the cow with the hammer. That, I suppose, is what we do. Yes. Okay, why would a cow have been placed inside? That doesn't make a huge amount of sense. And in fact, why would the cow still be here at all? Why would you turn to cannibalism 
before you eat the, like, you know, beef? Like, does hamburgers right there, you think someone would have raised that objection? Very nicely, bandage and more dirty water right here from the first aid box. But yeah, I'm already getting close to how much I can actually carry here. I will take some cram and some bubble gum, though. That'll do, keep me going. Another footlocker can't open. Fine, moving on then. Now, the last place, of course, is, yeah, the ranch, where I did see them actually killing the cows. So, uh, the cows tried to get away, but sadly, were not able to do so. And, oh! I feared as much. Right, one of the houses, still occupied. And by surprisingly tough people, actually. Uh, okay. We'll give it a go and... Okay, did I just miss you? Okay, this is this is not good. Okay, back into a corner, back into a corner, back into a corner. Excuse me. Oh, you've just dropped your weapon. Oh, that's no good for you. Uh, no, you don't. You don't get it back, actually. Right, and then did you just actually get a gun? I think that person got a gun from somewhere. Ah! Not going to help her right now, actually. There we go. One hit for you. And oh, no, you don't. But dead. And oh, block. And go. Oh, running. Okay. We'll, um, we'll go and get her. I should probably go and get her now. Because she might just come. Okay, we'll go and get her now. It's fine. You, excuse me. You have to die now. Shame to Vats. Because Vats, yeah, of course, is weapon gets to... Oh, blimey. Good kill, mind. Good kill. Right, so that'll be the last of them, lads. Now, Bear Trap Fist. Damage 24. That's actually not even that bad, to be honest. This is only damage 35. And another gun case that's average locked. Yeah, I need to start moving up towards 50 lock pick. Because there's a lot of things in this game I would be able to lock pick. And that's actually worth... Ooh! The Brahmin stake is still there. Oh, flip. Right. The Brahmin stake from the base game are still there. Admittedly, that makes literally no cocking sense whatsoever. <laughs> Based on the story that was written for Quintus Avernus, that, uh, yeah, apparently there was, like, no food, so they turned to cannibalism, and there was just, like, you know, a fridge full of steaks that are apparently... Well, they're still... they're still fresh, but then there's electricity, but they wouldn't be fresh, because... You know what? Let's not question it. That's a big pile of food I can come back for. That's marvellous. Also, just for the time being, I'm going to go back over to the knife, because, yeah, I want to save the sledgehammer for when I really need it. Again, it's just, like, little day-to-day -day stuff. Probably the knife is fine. Right, so, I think that is Novak explored. And do not forget, there's a really good stockpile of meat right there. So, we've got ourselves multiple compass directions to go and explore. There was a mention of uh, somebody living up in uh, Hilltown or something of that description. Now, logically, if you're going into the hills, uh, you're heading towards the test site. So, heading in that direction, uh, probably a decent idea. Whoever they are... Yeah, the cannibals thought, you know, they might be able to talk to them. So, uh, probably not ghouls or mutants or anything. Maybe just more flipping cannibals. Alternatively, there's Nelson over in this direction together with... Uh, yeah, there's actually the, uh, the little cave uh, down over here. And yeah, close by to the survivor camp. Presumably about here-ish or something. Camp Forlorn Hope is going to be floating around in that area as well. And... Uh, I need to go south. I found a note mentioning Searchlight. Now, if you add a note mentioning Searchlight, that means you're indicating to the player, go check out Searchlight. There's something of interest there. And other than that, yeah, we're actually doing a pretty darn good job. And then we can also go and check out Novak. Though I think I saw Novak in the distance from one of the starting positions. It was like a house down over here. It didn't look like it was friendly. So that might be another cannibal town. Now, I had the ammo to clear out uh, Novak. I don't have enough ammo to clear out Nipton if it's the same thing. Well, we may as well just go and have a look-see what's going on at the direct contest site. Nice thing is, with big long roads, I should be able to detect what's going on. Oh. Okay. But first, we got a couple of survivors around here. Okay. This is fine. How about you just come over here, and then when you run around the corner, I'll just... Hello! Do you see me? Yeah, she totally just saw me. Well, that's absolutely fine. Where are you right now? You are okay. No, no, no. Come around here. I'm definitely, like, behind this rock. And boom! Okay, now I should just be able to knife her. Boom. Critical. Because I'm actually getting a critical chance plus five off this armor, which is arguably the most important thing of... Oh, there's someone else yet. Did 
to your friends. Where? Where, 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 where? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Well, whatever it is, I don't see it. Fine. You've got yourselves even more 9mm, sadly, submachine gun, which is kind of garbage. Uh, damage threshold 7? No, I'm fine with what I've got. A nice helmet, though. Hang on, what am I wearing on my head right now? I'm wearing a trooper helmet with uh, also two, but that's got... Ah, it's just got military police written on it. Fine. I may as well take it and use that to improve mine, or vice versa. Yeah, that'll do. Same thing, but it can take a tiny bit more punishment yet. Ah, and remember when I heard gunfire earlier? I think I might just have found what was being shot. Molrat corpse. Sadly, empty. Fine. Leave that for now. Let's head up towards the actual, uh, yeah. Towards the rep contest side itself. Now that glowing ghoul's still there, but that's fine. He's there from the base game, so that doesn't necessarily mean it is ghouls. The cannibals were... Okay, they're not entirely with it, because they set up a religious cannibal cult where they worshipped a T-Rex, but... Oh. Who is firing at who? Somebody's got a gun. Now, could this be... Well, it doesn't feel like it should be the NCR. Like a couple of NCR troops just slowly walking up the road and taking out anyone there. Because how would the NCR have got here? The only way in is through Cannibal Town. Never mind, it is the NCR. Okay, in which case, how many of them, and why are they here? All the places they've abandoned, but this is somewhere canonically they're not even supposed to be. Alright, I see at least two. Now I've got my new Mexican rifle, so I'm pretty confident I can actually take them out. How many more? Okay, I've got an easy shot because they're holding still. Problem is, how many more is it than just them two? And yeah, safest thing. Get over here. Take the shot from in cover. Then the other guy can't see me and I can just back off behind a rock. Should be nice and easy. So he goes down. No problem at all. Now, I just back off down over here. And perfect world. Other guy doesn't know where I am. I go back to Hidden, I get a nice easy shot against him too. And third person, just to keep an eye on the road. There we go. He's already back into Hidden. No, caution again. Hang on, how many is it? Oh, it's more than one. It's definitely more than one, mind. Right. Wait, 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 wait. We might be able to do a bit more yet. Yeah, the problem is... They might be nudged back into caution every time they see the body of their friend. So, as a result of that, it might be a little bit difficult to uh, get the shot. I just need a shot at one of them. There we go. That will do the job right there. Not even a sneak attack didn't need to be. Okay, one of them is now firing at me. Honestly, that's now fine. He wants to come and find me, run down the road. I'll get a point blank shot into his head. Right, so he's coming down the road right now. Do you know where I am? Hello, yeah, I'm right here, I'm right here, I'm right here, I'm right here. Come on, come and get me. That's right, that's right. Doc Mitchell, Doc Mitchell, enemy of the NCR apparently. So you just basically come round right over here. He has to come down sooner or later. He's seen where it's... Oh, unless he's coming around the... Where are you? I've gone back into caution. How have you lost me, you stupid bastards? Oh, there he is. Yeah, okay. So me and him have found each other. Go, 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 get down. Ouch, you're taking a little bit of damage there. Let him come to me. Okay, and now you're trying to shoot me again. Okay, I will take a 50-50 ear leg, to be honest. And... Oh, <laughs> now he doesn't have a leg anymore. Right. Now, what have you... Light bloody machine gun. Ouch. Ridiculously high DPS there. Okay, these guys are not messing about, are they? No. Makeshift machine gun, light machine gun. Okay. On the plus side, yeah. Low damage, high DPS weaponry does not work against my armor, at least. It does kind of, because I've no idea how damage threshold's being calculated, but it's a lot less generous than it is in the base game. Leave him be. Leave that guy be. I think we're okay for the time being. Let's go get his friends. 
What I would love is a basic service rifle. That'd be nice. That's 5.56. Five, That's good stuff. And there's my two other corpses. You guys went down much more easily. So, what do we got? More 5.56. Five, no weapon at all. Yeah, because that guy had two weapons. We must have picked something off your corpse. And, ah! Lovely. Love the 308. Battle rifle is 25. Honestly, not that great. Yeah, this is... That's 28 and with bonus critical chance and damage. So, no, it's no contest. This is lighter and just generally a lot better. Fine, leave that be in that case. Oh, but we've got more NCR troopers yet. All right, just need to get into a good position. I'm feeling a bit thirsty. That's fine, to be honest. And, oh, uh-oh. I think I might have got a little bit on the unlucky side with a hitbox there. I think it might have just actually clipped into the barrier. Luckily, there's no corpse yet, so... Uh, they're not freaking out. Yeah, I'm going to be up on here. If I go up on this ledge, I should have a better shot. In fact, actually, I could work my way up top that way. That'd work. Why are the NCR guarding, of all places, the Repcon test site? I've got to investigate this. It's too weird to not. All right. This time... Yeah. This time, my good man, you're not getting away from me. Back off. Hide down over here for the time being. I definitely see a bit of movement there. And... Have you given up searching already? Well, that's marvellously good news, because that means I can kill you as well. And how about you? Would you like to give up searching almost immediately? And... Oh. Okay, that, that was a little bit more of a waste right there. Okay, back off down over here. Back off down over here. This is a good spot to hide. Go over to the 10mm. Go in the third person. Just have a little look, see? Who's where? No, he's still there. He's decided not to move. Alright, I see you. In fact, I should have... Good chance to take you down. Right, that is three people dead right there. And also, ooh... Okay, I've just picked up a big old pile of XP for one of the more obscure perks. Beautiful. Right, go over to junk rounds at this point. Honestly, I'm wasting good quality ammo. Now that's three dead over there. Oh, hang on. Did I just see? Yes, I did just see more. And you can go down too. Okay, seriously, sooner or later, you guys have got to give it up. And oh, uh-oh. I just saw someone over there, and pop your head exactly where you just were. That works for me. Right, guard up top, taken care of, reload. All right, hopefully this means now I can get up top and actually have a good view down on the next area. All right, this, this works for me. Okay, good. Happy I got up here. Now we've got ourselves... I thought I saw a Securitron there for a second. And hello! I didn't kill all of you. No. I most certainly did not. So, what we've got here is... What used to be a cannibal-held area that the NCR stormed in and took. But why would the NCR, of all the places in the Mojave, when they're pulling out of everywhere, bother coming to deal with this place? They weren't even here in the base game. They didn't bother. So this is all fascinating. And by the way, I will take a flipping doctor's bag, thank you. Oh, an experimental radax. That'll do as well for making myself some more purified water. And no, I can deal without that. That's that's just quite frankly, I don't have enough 5mm ammo to justify it. Okay, let's just have a little look, see what's going on ahead. I've got enough ammo for now, but to be honest... I am going to run out of ammo sooner or later for this thing. Or I was saying my problem is not enough ammo. Though admittedly, I'm picking up... I'm making a gain of ammo here. That's certainly true. Problem is, I just don't really have the right guns for it. Because these guys are using rapid fire weapons. And that's not really... Uh, not the right way I want to do it. Double check that camp's finally bloody clear. Because that camp has actually got some good stuff in it. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 just a line of flipping corpses, and of course the rebar club from the disintegrated Nightkin. 308, very, very nice indeed. Sniper rifle. No, leave it. 
Leave it, leave it, leave it. You've got a throwaway weapon. It's a damn good one. Ooh, more experimental. Service rifle. Now, the problem is, I can't actually take it with me. Hmm. It's a damn good gun, though. Easy to maintain. Okay, more of that stuff. Oh, I've got so much ammo. So much junk 556. Five, I mean, I should try and take this with me. Purely because... Ooh! Oh, that's even better. Yeah, problem solved. I've actually got myself a 4.5 pistol again. Good. That is good stuff. See, fun thing about the 4.5, I've actually got tons of ammo for it, and it's actually pretty damn powerful. So that, that'll do the job. And the other good reason I wanted to come here, aside from you, sorry, even more corpses. Uh, yeah, there's a good selection of ammo boxes and all sorts in this place. So, oh, grenades too. Oh, this is welcome. This is very welcome, especially... Uh, that's energy cells rather than microfusion, which is a shame. But... Oh, there's microfusion. Oh, yeah. For my mightiest of mighty guns right there. Oh, yes. XP. Together with... Oh, a toaster mine. Fascinating stuff, but it weighs one. Okay. Take the Molotovs, because you can scare off abominations with those. So that's quite useful. And, yeah, ditto with anything that creates fire. The rest of it, that's way too heavy to take along. Sorry. I mean, that'd be lovely if I could. Right, I need to... I need to start making some decisions. Okay. What I need to do is I need to leave the 10mm pistol behind. I've got this thing right now. If I actually, you know, end up with a bunch of 10mm ammo in future, I can get myself another 10mm pistol. That's fine. They're not that uncommon. I do just want to keep the police pistol, though, because, yeah, weighs only three. 357 is not that uncommon, and it's powerful powerful for a revolver. Oh, but a fat mine. Oh, that weighs a lot, but it's stupidly powerful. And if I come across something that's effectively a boss, that can basically just floor them. Oh, that would be... Oh, I'd love to take that. Oh, flip. What could I leave behind? All right, I left behind some ammo I'm not really using right now because, oh, I want the microfusion cells as well. Microfusion cells is basically my way of getting stupid... And I want to take the duct tape because that's the one thing I need back in town to make more weapon repair kits. Okay, this is good. This is looking very good. And ooh, that was a cannibal, but dressed as an NCR. La di da. All right, on we go. Now, here's a fun thing that generally you'd never need to actually use, but might come in useful here. You can sneak in the side of the rep contest site without going in the front door. Sneak off in that direction. There's a hole in the fence, and then there's a side door, which could be. Yeah, very useful indeed if the front is uh, full of more NCR. And I see some movement. That's definitely not a ghoul. So I think the NCR have got this place locked down. But why? Why this place in particular? No, the NCR were never able to push this far. This far in, it's cannibals. So yeah, the NCR are just weirdly just squatting... On a little kind of barricade, halfway between one group of cannibals and a cannibal town. Well, that's kind of odd. Okay. Well, I may as well just kind of, you know, nip inside and say hello. I mean, worst case scenario, there's basically nothing of interest here. But yeah, I wouldn't mind just kind of, you know, nipping in and checking. So yeah, there's actually a fun little sideway in round here. You just kind of basically go along this ridge... Around the back, to just avoid the front full stop. And then there'll be a hole in the fence. And also, you can get in around the rear of the building. So you can get into the complex via a hole in the fence. And then straight after that point, you can just loop around the back of the building to get to the side entrance. Though, uh, admittedly, I'm not sure what you actually need in terms of uh, lock picking. So, uh, hmm, this may or may not work. It also depends how many cannibals are floating around. You see right there, there's a hole in the fence. I can't remember whether there's one around the other side too. I might just be able to get in and out this way. So yeah, this is still being marked as the rep contest site. Hasn't picked up any new names or anything. So just head straight through over here and just clamber up here. And watch out for any cannibals, but actually this is looking good. It's looking... Qu oh, not that quite. Okay, go, 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 go. Go around the back, go around the back, go around the back. Oh, blimey, hey, one of them's got a flyer thing. Right, okay. 
So they're trying to they're trying to cook me. Okay, this this could have gone better, to be honest. I'll I'll be perfectly honest. This this you know I was hoping for. Okay, let's try this again. Here we go. I thought I remembered this being the case. There's also a broken chain at the rear left as you look at the building from the front. And a back door. Can I open it though? Yes! Yes I can! Now the question is, how much of a catastrophic error have I just made? Because now, now I'm inside a cannibal stronghold. Which, you know, in terms of a list of things you do want to do, it's not high up said list. Quite low in fact, quite low down. So, have a little look see what we got going on here. I've got this pistol. And for the most part, cannibal camps are... Hello! Right, we'll just take you out, please. And you can just go down. And most of you do not have guns. Oh, you've got a gun, though. Right, not... No, do not fail to reload your gun properly. Bloody hell. Luckily, that was a nail gun, which is pretty trash. How much more have we got around here? That's already a lot of damage. No, we're okay for now. Okay, do a quick stim pack. Okay, not a good first engagement, but... It looks like I could manage this, I think. And probably stay away from all the areas that have a hole through to the floor below. I just want to take up that. Hello! I see. I love the derpy expressions on the dog's faces. Uh, right, you. One bullet will do for you. There you go. Anyone else hear that? Somebody did. And just... Yeah, figured you might have done. Couple of bullets for you, please. Hopefully she just died. The camera's not really cooperating. And... Someone else might be coming yet. Who's there? And... Who's there? Yells somebody. Where? 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 Do not know. Whoever it is, they don't seem to have a clear idea where I am. Fine, and we've also got a locked door at the end here. And that is just, yeah, a nice cupboard I can hide in. Always like hiding in a nice cupboard. A few more cannibals. I didn't kill this one. So who did? Because, yeah, I don't think you're one of mine. Okay, keep on moving on here. Oh, yes, don't forget the safes. There's some good safes. Oh, hello, I see you right there. Oh, you just saw me in the nick of time, you bastard. Actually, you're not actually... Okay, seriously, you guys need to just die. And you can just go down too. In danger. Oh dear, no, 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 no. Someone's got something bad. Was that you? Was that you? Have you got plasma weaponry? No, someone else had plasma weaponry. Possibly from above. Okay, we can do better. The key lesson here is that's just not the right... Oh, that's just not the right approach. I see you over there. Any chance you're going to acknowledge the corpses of all your friends? No? No, you're not. Okay, well, that's that's just fine, too. The thing is, if I don't kill a single other cannibal, I'm still getting a ridiculous amount of XP from all of these doors. And, oh, this stuff's already here. Ah, it's been slightly uh, reduced, though. Microfusion cells and whatnot. And a safe. Also easy. Beautiful. Oh, yes. This. This is what I was looking for. 9mm pistols are light and hit surprisingly hard. And this one comes with a scope too. And more importantly, the stealth boys are still present and correct. You know, I'm very tempted to just leave at this point. Because, yeah, at this point I've got myself a decent quality weapon. I've got myself a bunch of XP just from unlocking doors. In fact, speaking of that, I should actually set that as my new favoured weapon. And I should also mod it. 9mm pistol. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Ooh, look how steady I hold that. For once, I've got a gun I actually meet the requirements of because I rushed up to guns 50. Oh yeah, that that's the thing right there. This is, this is going to tear some cannibals apart. Now, I know there's another one around here somewhere. Don't go down. Oh, hello. Right, uh, you just hold still for a second, please. Thank you. Right, now just back off over here and close the door. There we go. I just heard a door open. Yeah, figured you might be around somewhere. But this is, this is fine. I'm just gonna 
Go for the legs. One, two. Please just start crouching in a second. And there's critical. And danger. Can't reload. Get over here. Do I want to be over here? I'm not sure. If the only other thing that knows about me is a dog, they can't open doors. Yeah, back to caution. I think it might just be a dog. And if it is just a dog, I can just loop around him here. We'll be in. I know I saw someone around here too. Okay. I see you there. Back to hidden. That is makeshift plasma. Users energy cells. Okay. That is damage 21. Weighs 9 though. No, leave it. Leave it. You can't justify it. And we've got... Oh, hello. I just found another dog. That's good. Still hidden. And don't forget, um, a bit low on script. Take the dog meat. Immediately cook it up now that we've actually got ourselves that hot plate. Make a dog steak and then just basically eat it immediately if you need to. And yeah, this guy's still here. You're in the base game, actually. But you've actually had your name changed to a cannibal. But I swear you're actually there in the base game. No, you aren't there in the base game, but you're one of the bright followers who's dead in the base game. Yes, now I remember. And yeah, if I happen to come across... Ooh, Nuka-Cola. I'll gladly do a double Nuka. Get that caffeine in my vein. Beautiful. Though annoyingly, I have noticed, yes, the Nukas actually do generate uh, empty bottles. Which, fine, that's realistic, but also not helpful. Because, you know, I don't actually need the empty bottles for anything. They don't do anything in this mode, so get rid of them. And weirdly, one NCR trooper suggesting that, okay, NCR might have held this place originally, or tried to take it. Cannibals drove them out. NCR didn't take kind of that, tried to push back, but got stuck just basically pinning them in. Stalemate. Okay, that seems like the most likely scenario here. And don't forget, by the way, there's a bunch of rooms down here as well. If nothing else, this place has been an excellent source of loot so far, but watch out, yeah, for the whole rooms. Stay away from... Oh, I see you over there. In fact, I'm going to back off from you because I don't want to draw anyone's attention from downstairs up here. Right, head back towards the end instead. I think I'm still missing someone quite... F oh dear. Right, um, so you can go down and see if we can just get the dog, thank you. Oh, blimey heck. Oh, that's a heck of a shot right there. And that's, that's another one. Well, this all works quite nicely. And you're all dead. Okay, that works surprisingly well. Right, in go the junk rounds, marvellous. Oh, back to danger though. Someone else knows I'm here. Question is where? Oh, it's you! Yeah, Vance works beautifully in this mode, actually. <laughs> Vance is so flipping powerful. Just the ability to pause them and take them out mid-air as they're just getting close to you so you can get those headshots. Because, yeah, I don't know exactly how the damage is calculated, but what someone speculated in the comments that I do agree with on reflection is... Uh, it calculates damage threshold, then it takes the damage and multiplies it up a few times, but headshots are worth a lot more, so you definitely want to go for the head, and that's just let you get those headshots. Now, if I just stick round to the right around here, I should be able to... Oh, I see... Oh... I see you. Hello. Oh... No, 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 you need to go... Okay, you're surprisingly tough, actually. Um... Why were you so much tougher than all the rest of them? Well, a single headshot will take you out anyway. Yeah, cannibals weak with us. Oh, blimey. Right, one of them had a plasma grenade. Luckily, you can go down two. And there's definitely, oh, there's at least two more coming. Now, how tough are you? Annoyingly, you're tougher than the ones I've seen so far. But I'll begin reloading during the actual, oh, come on. No, no, come back, come back, come back. Oh, he's trying to... Was he going for a gun? He's actually got himself good quality armor here. Right. Please get critical. No critical. But we finish him off like that. Still in danger. Okay, I need to go over to something else, actually. Uh, we're running very low on ammo. I don't want to run dry in the middle of a fight. Back off over here. And I've also leveled up. I'm just going to fall back for a second. Wait to see what happens next. It's hopefully just a dog. Okay, that, that went pretty well, actually. Right, having cleared out a fair bit of that room, that means I should be able to walk in this side now. Watch out above. 
Because I thought there was someone on the floor above who had a plasma weapon. But I think we're actually okay. And this gets us up to the third floor. Alright. I would like to check those bodies, if I could. I think they should be to the right of me right now. And yeah, there's one. So, oh, hang on. That's a Molotov. Uh, I'll leave it. I've got a few of them already. I'm okay, and I'm really hurting. For Oh, whoever it was, they got bored of me. Marvellous. Now, yeah. Lockpick, move that up towards 35. I wouldn't mind a little bit better on the medicine, you know. I mean, I think I'm okay on the survival for the time being. Actually, repair would be good as well. Because weapon repair kits. That, how much of that are you really doing? It's barely going to make any difference. I'd rather get it on medicine. I'm doing more healing than repairing. I think I'm just going to go for action boy now. 15 more action points. 2% slower regen is not much at all. Yeah, that'll do for me. Now, I know there's still something around here. But bloody hell have I made a pile of corpses. Tragically, the problem with this is I'm trading ammo for... Ooh. Okay, you're... You're hollow. Fascinating. I'm trading ammo for XP. But I don't have that much ammo to do that with, to be honest. I should probably consider pulling out. I've got some good stuff here. Right now, though, I'm just losing a lot of ammo. Oh! Okay! New Vegas, are you feeling alright? Check over here. Yeah, I see the hunting dog. Take you out with one quick shot. Still hit him. That's only worth nine, but screw it. This is... Ah! Another one. And I'm seeing corpses and piles of giblets. Now, if I had to guess, I'd say what's going on here is... Yeah. The NCR troopers you catch, you feed to the dogs, don't ya? That's what's going on. Yeah, and hello! Please tell me you don't have a gun. I bet you flipping don't as well. So, two directions we can go from here. Up to the top, or down to the basements. Question is, where are they going to have hidden the good stuff? If I had to guess, either the control room, up top, or the jail, down bottom. One of those two places, if there's anything interesting here at all, aside from just a giant pile of cannibals to kill, that'll be where they are. So, okay. Let's start up top and see what we got up there. Because at this point, I'm moderately happy to actually trade ammo for XP. Being at level 6 and having all these skill points, that's kind of welcome. And here we go. This is actually being flagged as the research labs. I'm moderately confident it's not called that in the base game. Oh, and we got trouble in me. Oh, well, we got trouble. But it's not just me that's in trouble. Someone else is killing someone else. Alright, stay away from the middle room. Don't want to get caught in the middle of a firefight. And honestly, I'm better off just letting them all kill each other for the time being. There are definitely two factions here. Which two factions? Cannibal taking on... I don't see who he's going for. And oh, well, now he's going for me and it's... It's a different type of cannibal. Well, that's... Interesting. There's... Oh, hello. That sounds like... That didn't sound like a cannibal. That sounds like a non-human voice right there. What's going on here? And why is one cannibal... Well, I've officially failed Come Fly With Me. I'm going to be honest, game. I didn't actually think I was going to be able to win that one. Because, you know, it's, it's the future and all of that. Now... Who exactly are you... And what the hell is your deal? Right, well, put a couple of bullets in him. Whoever he is. So this cannibal basically just went mad and attacked all his cannibal friends. But... Why? And why did you also have a very, very weird voice that sounded... Well, you're not the only one. Let's do some speculating here. If the NCR are here, or want to be here... And that means this might be some form of, as it says, research lab. But what if as a research lab, something that made people go a bit on the crazy side? Like, say, part of an experiment that would end up causing people to mutate into, uh, first up, just slightly mad people. But eventually, centaurs. 
Okay, we might be getting a bit into crazy conspiracy theories here, but it's the best one I've got for the minute. I mean, why of all places in the entire Mojave would you spawn the NCR here for no reason? There's got to be a reason they've been added here, because otherwise it doesn't make any flipping sense. I see. Oh. Oh, wait, hang on. Or it might just be the case that this is just a bit lazy, because, of course, the faction that live here normally are, yeah, the ghoul faction. So possibly those voices are just being recycled, because it's easier to just recycle the ghoul voices and keep them in rotation. Yeah, okay, that's, that's entirely possible too. Yeah, they've just taken Bright's followers and replaced them, haven't they? So whichever one was Jason Bright was killed in the firefight, and as a result of that, yeah, officially, come fly with me ended, because they just couldn't figure out how to turn off the trigger. So up here somewhere, yeah, already a bunch of dead people, so thanks, now I don't need to bother. Saves me a bunch of ammo. Never had to guess, yep, here we go. Cannibal. Now, dyed leather robes, knife spear, creepy ass face. I'm guessing you, from your position, were replacing Jason Bright. So, alright, fine, fair enough, seems quiet now. Time to see if there's anything actually here, or whether I need to go down into the basement for that business. Or, of course, outside, because there's little outside sections, but they're locked off. I think I saw a hard lock downstairs, so... Question is, one, any chance that we've got something good on the terminal? Or is that just the same as all the others? Yeah, that's the same as all the others, fine, that's just stuff from the base game, it's just pre-war kind of humorous text. Now, slight problem I've got here. I've actually managed to drink my way through all my booze, or at least all of the good booze, like the hard booze. All I've got left is wine, which doesn't boost strength, and beer, which does. But really, I'd rather not drink those if I can avoid it, just because, uh, yeah, those are actually... all. I've literally got one beer left as well. You see, my plan was, okay, I'm carrying around all this booze, but by the time I've drunk all the booze, the booze itself weighs so much that it won't matter anymore, because then I won't be carrying the booze and everything will be fine. But instead, we've actually ended up with a slightly difficult situation where, um, I've just picked up a bunch of other stuff instead. So, now I need alcohol, and oh dear, hard locked. And I didn't see a key anywhere. Okay. There are, at the bare minimum, I think, two doors that go outside. There's that one that's hard locked. Can't do anything with that just now. But there's also another one round the edge here, if I recall correctly. Yes, here we go. Uh -huh. And this brings me to... Oh! Would you believe more flipping cannibals? So, I'm not desperately surprised, I suppose. And yeah, that's just a shortcut back to where I was. Okay. But then again, back to where I was, also had through here, yeah, the shortcut that leads up to the CEO's office. I should check that out too, in case, yeah, that could be another area where if you wanted to hide something important, you might put it. And speak of the devil, something's been put up here, because there's one dog. Now, I think it's literally just, yeah, I don't think there's anything here, but like, one room you can't access otherwise. So there'll be a few lockers on the way out. Now, one dog in the CEO's office. I'm not sure quite how you got here, and I'm not quite sure how that first shot missed. Okay. If that's all it is up here, that was a bit of a waste of ammo, but we'll see what we can do. If nothing else, yeah, this safe, which I think this computer can open, should give me another stealth boy. There you go. Password to the safe. Wait, hang on, no, that's the storage room safe, not this safe. So, okay, can't get into that one. Fine, never mind. Nothing major yet. Probably time to head back downstairs. So only one area left, the basement. So the question is, what would the cannibals have locked away down here? If anything. I think I can hear some movement. Obviously, this is the Knight's Kin in the base game. And I suppose, in theory, had the door just been kept locked for all these years, super mutants basically live indefinitely until someone shoots them dead, the Knight's Kin could still be here if the Courier never took care of them, 
the first time round. So, oh. What was that? that? Okay, there's at least one dog. There's at least one dog in here. Let's see what we can... Oh, no. There are still Nightkin. And they're really tough. Okay. Well, this is well. There's at least one Nightkin. And he's going to murder me at this point. But I have dogs as well. So this raises all sorts of... Yeah, there's, there's one dog here. There's definitely a dog. And now the dog and the Nightkin are capable of fighting each other. Oh, blight. Okay, you just startled me. I'm going to be honest, I was just startled there. So I've killed at least one night, kid. Oh, bloody hell. How many more are there? And it's the... Oh, there's... Okay, there's... There's more than that, apparent. And now, now I'm going to die. Yes, okay, fine. Well, actually, in a straight-up fight, I might just be able to beat him. Uh, no. I'm going to lose all my ammo instead. Right, let's try this again. Or rather, let's probably not... Or alternatively, we could just say, two can play at that game, you stupid bastards. If there's going to be Nightkin about, who are going to be all invisible-like. Although, I don't know exactly where. Vats can actually detect them, but Vats can't actually let you target them. Let's just check out the two most interesting areas uh, with the assistance of a stealth boy. And yes, indeed. So, Davidson is still there. Now, are you wanting to talk to me? Yes, they haven't disabled any of this. So, all the normal stuff triggers down there, even though the person that Jason Bright was replaced with is actually dead and not here. Now, the question is, you're still here as well, except this time you're not willing to speak to me. Fascinating. So, I guess you just have to die. Um, I guess... And that just gives me a giant pile of experience too. <laughs> this is very odd. This is all very, very odd indeed. But I tell you what, if it clears out the Nightkin, then good. Now this gets me a few 308 rounds. And, ah! Another Mexican hunting rifle. Good. That means I can improve my own. That's worth it just for that. And yeah, for the time being, I'm going to keep myself going with Brahmin Stakes. Because the actual plus two off of that will... Uh, that can keep me going for the time being. Now, just improve that. Oh, damage plus two. Oh, thank you so much. That will do very nicely. So, that gets me the note from the usual terminal. So, I now know that the stealth boys have been sent back. Which is just lovely. Oh, and he's got even more ammo on his corpse together with a key. Beautiful. Right, time to go and report to Davison. Because apparently we're... We're kind of doing this quest anyway, but yeah, if it gets rid of the Nightkin, then I can explore the rest of the place. Great! And I don't see the Wibble. Oh no, I do see a Wibble. I absolutely see a Wibble. But it's a Wibble that is walking away from me. Round down here. And now, Davison. Davison, please, please keep cooperating, because I totally want to cooperate. Right, so, off goes Davison. Beautiful. Takes the rest of the Nightkin with him, and I think they're now, yeah, forced to be passive, even if they don't want to be. So as a result of that, yeah, they will not attack the cannibals on the way out. Well, they shouldn't, but maybe they flipping will anyway. <laughs> Who bloody knows? Right, well, we'll just basically let them leave while we explore the rest of the facility. Alright, I'm literally out of booze to actually boost my strength with, because all I've got left is wine that doesn't boost strength. The Brahmin steaks, I don't want to waste them because, you know, they're useful healing items and also useful food items. So, uh, I could do some drugs. Drugs would keep me going, but really that's just putting the problem off. I just need to basically, uh, yeah, lose some items. I need to, uh, I need to make some sacrifices. Just, I just need to straight up get rid of something. Okay, frag grenades, they weigh 0.5. Uh, pipe bomb weighs 0.75. Prioritise the burning stuff and the mines. Mines and burning stuff are quite useful. Basic tin grenade, get rid of that, fine. And then we're down to just this business. That's not a bad selection at all, really. And then maybe just do one bottle of wine for the road. Boom. Very, very... Wait, what? That does boost strength. 
It just says... Never mind. I needed to do that anyway. That's fine. Wine should be for hydration, not for, you know, boosting strength anyway. Also, I may have done a little bit of human meat. Just a little bit. Just the tiniest, tiniest bit of human meat. And, yep, yeah, there's the rockets. Okay, so we've made it. Oh, yes. The spacesuit. Interesting. Damage threshold of 10. Rad resistance of 70. Not even that bad, you know. If I hadn't actually got the Elite Riot gear, I'd probably actually switch over to the spacesuits. But I can't justify carrying that around. Uh, instead, I'll just help myself to a handful of drugs. I think it's time to be on our way. It looks like, yeah, potentially uh, my working theory about this being an elaborate NCR plot. Possibly not. Possibly it was just, you know, recycled characters getting confused and battering each other for no reason. And I did also come down and check the jail. Nothing special here either. So, looks like, yeah, what we've got out of here is uh, a whole bunch of XP. And we are up one stealth boy. And, uh, yeah, I think we're actually up in terms of uh, 308 ammo. Quite frankly, at the end of the day, yeah, with all that junk ammo, this has been worth it. I don't think we've really made much of a loss of ammo, and we've got a lot of XP for our trouble. All right, back outside, and now, time to just sneak out the same way I came in. Taking out cannibals inside the tight corridors of this place, not so bad, but a great big melee where they actually get to throw explosives at me... Yeah, at the front door? I don't think so. Let's just quietly get away from here. I've used up enough ammo already. Now, thing I'm going to need to keep my eye on. I've actually pretty much used up all of my booze right now. I've just got, yeah, a few bottles of wine remaining. And right now my rads are at 97. Now that's fine, and I've got some rad away. But, yeah, as soon as that rad away's gone, I'm actually going to struggle to uh, get my rads down. So... Uh, Need to keep that in mind. And sanity. I don't know what my sanity is right now. I know it's all right, because there's one perk you can only select if you've got good sanity. So, I know I'm sane for the time being, but if I'm just going to go around and start shooting a bunch of cannibals constantly, my sanity is going to take a knock sooner or later. Alright, back to Novak, and another important thing I actually pulled out of that ruin, I found myself some more duct tape. And that means more weapon repair kits. Now, what weapon actually needs it the most? Because I'm very tempted to say that Mexican hunting rifle. That is... That is good stuff right there. Yeah, screw it. Get that even better. Just keep it topped up. There we go. That's very good. And the super sledge as well. That thing's important to me. Yeah, that's looking much better. Much, much better. Now, I just need to take a very quick excursion to drink out of a toilet, and then I think it's probably time to head the other way, because today I would at least like to know what's going on in Nelson. One thing to be careful of, though, we do indeed have, yeah, well, I think I saw a second evolved centaur to the left on the far side of this bridge. Now, the last centaur that showed up basically followed me resolutely right into town and then murdered pretty much everyone in town. So, probably, I want to keep my distance. Unless, of course, I'd like to lead the next one into Nelson. That is totally an option, too. Can I see him? I swear I saw a second one. And, yeah, Clarkfield is a fair way in that direction. So, uh, that's not an urgent priority. Problem is, yeah, it's night. Visibility's not so hot right now. I think we're okay. This seems like a pretty quiet bit of the map. Fine. Let's crack on our way towards Nelson. See if anyone's been actually set up to guard the little checkpoint that blocks the road. Oh yeah, something's there. Now that doesn't look... That one in the middle doesn't look like NCR to me. So, question is, who are you? Yeah, it's cannibals. Fine. Just three cannibals. Could pick them off, but honestly, could just work around them as well. I feel like I've killed enough cannibals and got enough cannibal murder XP. And also cannibal sanity loss, because uh, when I'm suffering from alcohol withdrawal, my actual sanity is lower. How about we just skirt around these guys? Just check out Nelson. Honestly, Nelson's not that interesting to me. 
there's not much there. It's not particularly important for any reason. If I don't see anything particularly exciting or sexy going on in Nelson, I might be willing to just bypass it and say, screw it, I'm not interested in actually trying to take it over. I mean, I've already taken over the Great Shrine and God Motel. So, what do I need Nelson for, quite frankly? Oh! Tunnelers. Alright. I, uh... I see the problem here. How about we just... Just go between the tunnelers and the cannibals. And then just... Yeah, I just want to get visibility into the town. That's all I want. I just want to see what's going on in town. And I believe that there is the ridge that Ranger Milo goes and stands on. So that ridge is literally built to give you a good view into the town. So if I get there, I'll be able to see what the deal is. And, ooh, I like this. Flipping 1.5 weight and it comes with a... Oh. That might be kind of on to me, though. Let's just move away from them. I think it must be them that wants to text me. Unless, of course, someone's already up here. Someone might be... Already know we're okay. Tribals! Interesting. And... Oh, no. Red tribals. Boo! Sometimes tribals are cool. Tribals sometimes can be friends. Let's just get a tiny bit closer. Keep my distance if they're red tribals. Because it sounds like they're tribals who are dicks. Is there in that... Oh, Three Crosses Camp. Okay, well, yeah, for the crucifixes. And who are you? You're also a tribal. Real question is, yeah, how many of them are there? I see you. I see you. Potentially, if I just sniped you both off now, just with, literally with my 9mm, I mean, would that be, would that be fine? Hmm. No, it wouldn't, because this thing either has problems with spread or range. I just want to see if anyone's actually on the crosses. I'm just curious if in, yeah, in three crosses, is anyone actually, you know, on the crosses? If it were day, I'd be able to flipping tell. Right, excuse me. Uh, you guys need to die, by the way. You especially, because you've actually got a... Okay, seriously, what's going on? Why are these bullets not hitting? Because that, that should have been a hit. Okay, they've started dying. That's good at least. There goes another one. And their dog too. Caesar's... Okay. These guys are also just coded to be Caesar officially. Even though they're like, you know, not. Uh, okay. We'll see if I decide I want this to stand. I mean, if they've renamed this... Uh-oh. Well, someone's taking pot shots at me. Who are you? Ah, cannibals! Well, that at least makes sense. Now I know what's going on here. Would you believe the tribals do not particularly like the cannibals? Who, like, you know, try and eat them and whatever. And, excuse me. Oh, blimey, heck. And they're also using all of the uh, the lines. They're using all of the lines, too. I just want to see, actually, if anyone uh, is spawned in Dead Sea's place. Uh, I'm just kind of curious. And, yeah. Yeah. The Chieftain is. Okay. Well, we may as well see if we can just, yeah, finish off both of them. Dead, 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 dead. Dead, 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 dead. And probably at this point, yeah, just retreat into the roof. I'm probably about to be killed by many people. Yes. Yes, I am. And boom. Oh, yeah. Shot to ribbon. Well, I know there's a Chieftain there. That's kind of cool. And just out of interest, I just killed him again. But this time, I just, like, went into his inventory to check there were no notes. No. He's got a special Chieftain's Helmet, which is kind of cool, but only damage threshold 3. So not really that interesting, because, yeah, between my uh, breathing mask and my helmet, I've already got 3, and I get some rad resistance on top of that. So, honestly, kind of pointless. And the Liberator is fine, but, you know, it doesn't really do much for me. So, we'll probably leave you be, to be honest. And that, ladies and gentlemen, brings us back here to Novak. Home sweet home. Now I have liberated it from the cannibals. And yeah, that's a cool little story just going on just uh, over at Nelson. So yeah, there's just a tribal village and they just uh, kidnap any cannibals that come and try and eat them. 
hang them up on crosses. Fair enough, I suppose. You could definitely argue that the cannibals were the ones that started it. So, uh, good luck to those guys. And I can't blame them for shooting first to anyone they don't recognise running into their town. It's probably served them pretty well so far. So, we have checked out the Repcon test site and Nelson and... Uh, while I may or may not have stumbled across a bit of a hint of plot at the uh, test site, yeah, Nelson's a fun little one too, uh, we do at least know the destination we're going next. It's time for us to head south, or at least figure out how we're going to head south. Now, the normal road you go down, interesting one. We've actually got, uh, yeah, Ranger Station Charlie on the way, which might be of interest. Together with, yeah, that Legion camp that's over. I think it's about there. Whether that's still there or not. It's probably still there. The question is who actually lives there. And, well, I'm going to guess whoever they are. They're probably going to shoot at me. So probably don't worry about it too much. So, yeah, we might have to try a couple of different paths to actually get down to Searchlight. Because the game has flagged Searchlight to me. So, to Searchlight we shall go. And if we can, yeah, possibly to Nipton as well. And maybe Cottonwood Cove. Because based on the notes that we've actually found over here in Novak, it is implied that there are still some remnants of the Legion on the far side of the Colorado. Or rather, did it specify far side? It just said make our way back to the Colorado, I believe. So they might be referring to Cottonwood Cove itself. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So I think we'll finish our little excursion down south next time, ladies and gentlemen. And after that, I think it's time to head back north. Alright, Vegas proper awaits. And uh, thanks to all this work we've done, I think good old Doc Mitchell is nearly strong enough for it. We've got a decent selection of guns, a decent selection of ammo. We've got ourselves some good armour. I've got plenty of healing items. I've got plenty of carry capacity. We're ready. I think we are ready to go and have a little Lucy at Vegas. So, all of that will be coming up very, very soon indeed. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd, and this has been Fallout New Vegas with Dust. Thank you very much, and goodbye. You know, I really hope we've agreed open borders with Japan, by the way. Otherwise, they have basically just invaded. I may have picked the wrong fight over... Yep. And my sisters, of course, have got even more flipping high-tech, though mysteriously still completely dependent on, you know, an aqueduct. Now, I'm not saying your entire army is mostly already dead, but it kind of actually is.